mantle. Didn't we throw them in the fire? Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Silly Dele, aka Slee. If you are new, welcome. You so are welcome. We all know about the famous story about boys who got thrown into the fire because they didn't bow down to Nebuchadnezzar's God at the time. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, Daniel's besties said no. Even if God doesn't save us, we're not gonna bow down to you or worship any of your statues. And if the God that exists, if our God exists, we will, we will obviously be saved. So anyway, they were obviously thrown into the fire and they didn't, yeah, they didn't die. So they came out not looking like what they have just been through. So the king immediately says in chapter 3, verse 24, didn't we throw them in the fire? Weren't they three people that were thrown into the fire? And then obviously the servant says, yes, we actually threw, we threw three of them. And then he was like, now I see a fourth person, a fourth man, a fourth angel. He looks like an angel of the God. Basically what I wanted to share is a lot of times when the enemy uses circumstances or people or afflictions, he expects us to come out the way we should, you know, should look like those circumstances or afflictions. In the coming days, the word that I have for you that the Lord has asked me to share with you is you'll be hearing a lot of, didn't we? plan their demise didn't we just throw them in the toughest situation why didn't they not come out looking like smoke why didn't they not come out smelling like smoke this is because you serve a god who looks after for you you serve a god that you serve only but do not bow down to anyone and it's an important message especially now but if you look at the book of daniel daniel and his friends were living in a time under a babylon system where God wasn't the God that they served. They served statues, idols, the God of Baal, and other gods, obviously. And they were going against the culture. So it's like living in now. If you're a Christian, and you're going against everything the culture wants you to do, bowing down to systems and structures that are not of God, against the culture. So Jesus is going to honor that. He's going to honor the fact that you stand for what you believe. And even if people do throw you, you're not going to be filled with so much fear. Because as you read the book of chapter 3, you see the conviction and just the confidence that comes across from these young men. They're saying, yeah, even if he doesn't throw us, we're not going to serve you. We're not going to bow down to your gods. But the word that I have for you that just popped out for me this morning, and this was actually a message that I took away from last year. You know, as you read the book, as you read the Bible, even if you've read the stories many times, they always come to you in a different light for that particular season. So this one, the Lord was like saying, people will be confounded with confusion and say, didn't we throw them to the wolves? They're not wow. looking like what they've been through. And I need you to grab this because the only way for you not to be touched by smoke is to be held by the Jehovah Gibor, the Jehovah Shalom, the Jehovah Jara, the Jehovah Adonai, the God who is near you, the God who sees you, Jehovah Elvod, the Jehovah Heskino, the Je Lord of Glory. And the only way for the enemy not to touch you and for you to have that boldness to even say, okay, do what you need to do, I'm still not going to do it, is when you are seated and you are hearing the Lord and you are near the Father, okay? And the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego because it's just really another testament about how far do you want to go in your faith? You know are you willing it actually challenges us as believers and as you know it also is also a testament to people to witness to see how much of this christianity that you say you believe you know how much of your personal conviction the relationship that you have with god the things that he has done for you the things that you've seen him do, the, the words that he has spoken to you in your secret places how much of that are you willing to drop down when you are faced with such challenges people provoking you to bow down to certain practices just elements that are not to god's character to not to your belief to not to be the to not through the principles of god basically that do not assemble or resemble what's in the so, bible 
I also got this revelation that even when people plan whatever, whatever the enemy has set uh, through people, because the enemy uses people. Remember, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and rulers of this darkness of this world, right? So it's important that even when the enemy uses familiar spirits, principalities, uh, cards, witchcraft, whatever, you know, because that's how he comes through. He comes through these different uh, so-called spiritual um, gateways where people obviously use them and they become fooled or become ignorant by what's happening. So it's important, even with those the things, those rituals, those incantations, those chants, those things are not going to come over you. Because through the blood of Jesus, you have been given access to the Holy Spirit to reign, to, to declare and decree a thing and it shall be established. But if you do not know that, the enemy will have his way with you. So in Colossians 2 verse 15, which is a scripture that I will always be talking about in this channel, it reminds us about that the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ has now disarmed principalities, the rulers of this dark world through the blood of Jesus, through what he's done on the cross. So not knowing what Jesus has done for you on the cross, you will be a victim of your emotions, the, the Prince of A, which is the enemy now moving around this, this, this earth illegally, fooling people uh, by deceiving them, by resembling a something of the light. Meanwhile, he just wants to kill, still and destroy. So if you're not aware of that, if the enemy knows that you're not aware of what inheritance and what access you have through Jesus Christ, you will be played, okay? So even if you aren't aware though, as I remember there was a scripture in the Old Testament where it says that uh, there will come a time where we cannot be ignorant about the enemy's devices. And then Paul, later on in the New Testament, says that we cannot be deceived by the enemy's devices. So as a Christian, you need to kind of grow in spiritual maturity and be aware how the enemy works. Not be obsessed about him or the kingdom of darkness, but be aware of their approach, their process, how they are designed, and how you need to fight back through the word of God and through the access that you have through Jesus Christ. So I'm telling you now that you will not come out looking like what they are trying to pull you through. And everybody will be saying, those especially who were planning your demise, they will say, didn't we throw them in the fire? Why aren't they not looking like they were? You know, what, what's going on here? So I pray that this word is ready to encourage you that even if the enemies, the, the the scripture that says that the weapons that might may, might be formed, but they will not prosper, right? In Isaiah 54 verse 17, the weapons may be formed, but they won't prosper. Many people are forming weapons to to derail people's purposes and destinies through witchcraft, especially around the world. You know, it's not hard, but even in Western culture, you, those countries, it's just witchcraft is the you know when people want to have power over something because basically witchcraft is the ability you want to control a particular outcome right you want to control somebody's will and god has given us this free will why you want to control somebody's will you're operating in divination you're operating in witchcraft so people want to either derail somebody's purposes through just the emotions that they harbor through unforgiveness, envious, jealousy. And the Lord says that we need to love those who persecute us, pray for them, because sometimes, most of the times, well, sometimes they do know, sometimes they don't know. Sometimes they're not aware that the enemy is using them for his ultimate kingdom to kill, steal, and destroy. Excuse me, so it's important to pray for people who are lost in these practices, okay? I always. Every time I, I'm, I'm, I'm perplexed by this topic and something, a topic, something I hear or something of somebody I know, I'm always confused. Like, why would you trust creation? Like, I think I've mentioned this like a lot of times. Why would you trust a created thing? Like, even if that created thing has gone, has passed on. They were created even if you say yes my ancestors yes honor your ancestors but do not idolize your ancestors um do not idolize creation do not idolize water do not idolize the trees do not create a thing 
looks to the creator the enemy is trying to derail a lot of people by making them idolize created things and individuals and obviously earth and water people have more faith in water than they have in jesus you're operating you're under a spirit of divination when you start practicing those things and you over 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 obsess you spend money god is not going to make you spend money for you him to give you his purposes and his destiny for your life he's going to say seek me read my bible and i'll and i'll tell you through a dream and a vision and even through my word what you need to do you don't need to go and speak to some consultant who is some so-called whatever to get that answer you're operating under divination because the spirit of darkness yes they do have power you know but they are not as powerful as god and um at the end of the day the the, the aim of the enemy is to kill still and destroy it might work for you for that moment but your destiny your your when you bow down and you exit this earth you are not going to heaven you were operating in divination and i'm speaking this because i just i'm just getting so irritated by just intelligent smart people i guess they're not that smart who want to control things the spiritual things the enemy is using that weakness to derail you and you know i've, I've seen too many people in my family people that have passed on they've just died prematurely there's just always been sequences patterns that just always kind of go back to you you were dabbling what were you doing nothing was wrong with you but because you were moved by envy jealousy spirit of mammon wanting to have more you were envious of other kids and then you started operating in this element you tried, you tried to control a specific outcome for somebody's life and it's not going to end well with you because once the enemy is done with you like this he will watch you go high only to watch you go low he will steal your character he will steal everything that you've built and if you're not careful you might get excited at the beginning because the so-called things are working but at the end of the day the pattern is always the same he leaves his prey drop drop because the end goal is not to promote you the, the, yes he might promote you to, to to win in his agenda but spiritually you you are dead you know we are first spirit then we are soul then we are body so we like to glorify what we see right now on earth with our physical eyes but let's start spending time with god and start repenting for if you've been operating in this space repent repent god will really work with you start reaching out to him seek his face i to share with you and also obviously this the the, the the word of encouragement just also just of action you know god gives us word of action word of knowledge prophetic words and it's just a, it's just a word of knowledge as well a bit of both depending on where you are if god has spoken to you and this is a confirmation then it is a word of prophecy it's a confirmation so you will not look like what they have pursued you and people will be saying didn't we throw them in the fire why what's going on here you'll be hearing a lot of those conversations in the background whispers in the background didn't we throw them in the fire thank you guys and enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to subscribe share like and please let me know if this message was a word of knowledge or a word of encouragement or if it was a prophetic word for you and god has already spoken this to you bye